going to be creating a square one art picture today. And we're going to be using a gigantic circle at the top. And then we're going to be making some lines, two lines down for the body. Then we'll be transforming this into whatever we want. But first I'm going to teach you how to make some guidelines. So we're going to read the, the paper here. And at the paper of the square one art it says top. And from that line I'm going to jump down about three fingers. Okay? And I'm going to put a guideline. A little line right here. That is going to be the top of my head. Then I'm going to find this guideline and then I'm going to find the bottom of my page. I'm going to go right down to the bottom and then I'm going to estimate the middle. So I have the top, top, I've jumped down three fingers, this is my guide. I find my guideline, I find the bottom of the page, I estimate the middle of the page. There's my middle. I put a little line marking the middle. From here, and I'm going to draw very, very, very lightly in case I make a mistake. I'm going to draw a curve. It's like a giant C curve slowly to meet the middle. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Backward C curve so it forms a, a giant circle. From here now, we'll all do this together. I'm going to find the bottom edge of the circle and I'm going to come down and go right to the bottom of my page. Do that for one side now. Find your curve, curve out a little and go to the bottom of your page. And I'm going to do the same for the other side. I come out, then I go to the bottom of the page. Now this will give us our head and our body. And now we're going to start thinking of what can it be? What can it be? Oh, what can it be? What can it be? Oh, what can it be? What can I turn this circle and body into? Oh, if I add a straight line out and connect, connect with some cool big giant eyes, and some wings, it could be a bird. What can it be? Oh, what can it be? Oh, if I add some ears, some floppy ears, and some eyes, and a little nose with a tongue, it could be a puppy. It could be a puppy. If I add a giant triangle nose, I can, I can make a lion. It's a straight line down. But what I want you to do is, I want you to think about what you're going to make your shape. Do not draw this yet. Do not draw this yet. And then you can go get a book that shows you different animals and different um, people maybe. Because you could turn it into a person. You could turn it into anything you want. And I'd like you to do something that's living. A creature that is living. But we can get ideas from books. And I call my ideas sources. Those are the sources that I get my ideas from. Look at this dragon. This is a profile. Look. This is a profile. It could be a dragon or a dinosaur. Look at how I did this. This is the original circle. This is the original lines down. I made the nose of the dragon come out. Out. Made the chin. But I want you to look at images of dragons. That way you can draw the eyes realistically, the nose and teeth detail realistically. It's the details that you add that make your picture interesting. More and more realistic. The details make it more realistic. Let me show you what a student did. A student created this dragon. And this was a first grader's artwork. You see? This is the original. This is the original. Um, this is the original circle we worked with. And then down, down. That is a dragon. And then, of course, he added nice, really large eyes. I always have you make the eyes larger than real life so that we can see the eyes clearly. 
you start out with a black pupil and then you go round and round. Now if your eye is like the dragon here, side view, this is a side view, you can make like a side view letter V. Okay, but look at this. This is the pupil and this is the iris, which is the color of the eye. What can it be? Oh, what can it be? It could be a mouse. Look at the circle, original circle. It's the details that you put in, the ear shape, the artistically curving tail. Look at how artistic that tail is. And let me show you another example. Here's a front view dragon. Like I said, the details. Look at this open mouth. You can start with a triangle. And when you draw your triangle, look. Straight line, then go down. A nose is down. Straight line, down, down. Then you can make the pads, and then you go down and over for the mouth. But again, look at a source. Get a book to show you. And here's the last example here. What could it be? It could possibly be. It could really be anything. These are just a few examples. Here we have a panda bear. So you would add your eyes. Now watch what I can do. I'll turn this into, I'll transfer this into a cat. I add my ears. I'm going to add my tail. Instead of a straight, boring tail, my cat tail is going to go up and around. Real big and fluffy. It can go off the page even. Look. Just so long as your important body parts are not near the edge. So my tail is very artistic and curly. I am using some of this negative space. And then, of course, I would make my, my cat nose. I would ma make my eyes and then the details in my eyes. You see how I'm filling this in? And my giant mouth and little cat chin. So you can finish it the way you want. And I really want you to think about what can it be? What do you like? If you like a monkey, a bird, think of an animal that you want to transform this into. And we're transforming our shapes into something that we like, something that's interesting to us.